this is the, the latest version of the XR series, which is the XR High Torque C. Absolutely fantastic. Still on the same frame as all the other equipment that we produce within the XR range. That includes the same motors, the same electronics. And what we've done is produce a slightly different rotor and also uh, slightly different gearboxes, which has given us this really, really flexible piece of equipment which can deal with those difficult materials that most other shredders on the market would not be able to cope with. Through this machine, what we're actually doing is we're actually recovering the commodity from that waste generated. So whether we're processing tyres, um, SDAs, which are small domestic appliances, LDAs, which are large domestic appliances, we have a commodity yield from that product. So if we were processing SDAs, which are very rich in ferrous and non-ferrous, we would normally generate um, about 100 pound a tonne for the ferrous, and we would probably generate around about uh, 950 pound a tonne for the Zorba. For the tyres, what we're actually doing there, we're converting the tyre waste into a 50 mil TDF chip. So rather than that being just a true gate fee for landfill, we're actually now putting that as an alternative fuel at a much, much lower cost. It's all about efficiency. Um, we operate 24 seven, and uh, so downtime is very expensive. So we need to make sure that our process is continuous. It's imperative that we, we select the right partners, but also the right equipment and also the right feedstocks. The uh, machine is designed so that the customer can start production on the morning, they can run through the day and after about 10 hours, something like this, they can adjust the cutters. It's a very easy modular system to adjust. They also have a maintenance activity in the manual which describes the uh, parts that they need to maintain during a daily or weekly activity. High torque, low speed gearboxes and the 132 kilowatt motors it opens up the customer to a wide range of shredding capability and possibilities of materials that they may not have previously thought shreddable. We find that generally we can run harder for longer, I suppose is the, the best way of putting that. It allows us to uh, put a, a mixture of materials without having to change too many set points and we find that the torque really drives through the different materials. We rely on this, this is a, a central piece of kit to our operation and uh, well, it's second to none. What we've got here is a machine that can produce those types of difficult materials, a low wear, low operation costs, yeah, and very, very, very high uptimes. Why wouldn't you want to look at the shredder to produce those materials for you? It's a no-brainer.